Welcome to my house. Buck here. Back with another fishing planet. Monster fish video. It's when we're headed over Falcon Lake and going after. And you got that up there, Buck? No, of course you don't. Going after the Rainbow Outlaw. Chasing him down. Prerequisite for that guy, though, is. Get them up there, Buck? No. How about the fish up there? There we go. Rainbow Outlaw. Prerequisite on this guy is to, um, you gotta go after some brown trout also. So, we're gonna chase this fish monster. Might as well jump over there, get started here. Get, get yourself up there live, Buck. And of course, there it is. There we go. All right, first mission out of, out of the gates here. Rumor has it that a monstrous Rainbow Outlaw has been spotted in Falcon and it can be caught with only special bait. Catch three brown trout and get enough Eggs to create a special bait that you can use to catch a rainbow outlaw, a huge genetically modified escapee that has taken quite a taste of brown trout eggs. So this is what we're after. I've already got them already, but we're gonna jump over there and catch three. I'm gonna catch three more real quick. I'll put them up on the video and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. So once we get that done, then of course the next in line is the actual rainbow outlaw monster. We're going after him, outlaw weighing up to 55 pounds. Up to 55 pounds on this guy. I think when I looked on the leaderboard, the one that was up there is 43.8. So, you know, it's a big fish. You need to be handled. You, you got to be able to handle at least something over 40 pounds. All right. You already have enough brown child eggs to meet the high nine dairy standards of the fugitive. So, get some sturdy tackle and prepare for a tough battle. Now, I lost this guy <clears throat> the first time around. I lost him. Um, I was in a kayak. And I was anchored like an idiot. And uh, he got behind me. And I, I, I couldn't fight him. So we're going to go after him again in the kayak. The second time around, I was a little smarter. <laughs> Didn't put the anchor down. So uh, we're going we're gonna to probably fight this guy. We're going to go after him in the kayak again. So we'll do that when it's that time. Um, let's go over and take a look at the sticks you need to get this mission done. All right. Now, normally I hunt trout with my Omni float. Seven and a half pound stick. Seven, I think seven, seven on the reel or something like that. What is my Omni float? This is the, yeah, um, seven and a half on that, seven, seven on the reel. <clears throat> Not a problem for most of these trout. Um, however, we're concentrating on the brown trout. Now, this stick will handle almost everything. You do get a good fight on a brown trout. It'll take you a little time if you get a decent brown trout. Now, these brown trout are common, six and a half pounds. Um, a trophy, almost nine pounds, 8.8, .8, take it up to, and your unis, of course, you latch into one of them, you're looking at 14.3. So 14 pounds, that's pretty rough for this stick right here, uh, for these brownies. So I kind of beefed up a little bit here. This stick here will do, I just, cause 10 pounds will handle everything. It'd be a hell of a fight with that if we latch into a uni. Um, odds against that though. So we're gonna have some fun with this stick. I brought this for, as far as the float rod goes for me, um, and uh, the Laker Pro 13 pounder. This is my bottom rod, light bottom rod. So this should get our three brown trout that we need. And then weapon of choice that I chose um, for the outlaw is my 45 pound majesty. Now I kind of have this guy all horse powered up. You know, he's got a Griffin spot on there, 45.2 uh, pounds. But you know, that's all for the retreat. The recovery, four foot 11. That's that's good. That's a good recovery for a math rod. So that's what we're going to hunt with, folks. So with that being said, um, well, I need to get myself a license and get out the Falcon, and I will see you guys to your side.
Okay, guys, I'm back. And as you saw, we picked up our brownies that we needed for our bait. So let's let's get down there. I think I'm already there, actually. There's just one over here. Yeah. Okay. We're loaded up now. We've got our majesty here. Oh, let's go over there, Buck. How about that? There we are. Okay, got the majesty loaded up. Uh, what do you got on here, Buck? Four odd hook with this guy. We're going to go four odd. Okay. Yeah, maybe five odd might have been better, but try four odd. All right, we're ready to go. Now, where are we headed? Well, we're headed over here uh, at the boat dock. We're going to paddle out. And there's, there's a little lily pad out here about the middle of somewhere out here in the middle of this rock. We'll patch a lily, uh, hornwort or something out there. We're going to hit that, kind of turn around and face this wall. And uh, I... If I remember correctly, it's been a while since I went after this guy. There's a face, a face structure type thing on the wall that's looking right down at the water. If I remember correctly, we'll see when we get out there. I could be totally out of my mind, but if I remember correctly, there's some type of face. Anyway, we're going to go out there. We're going to take a look at this guy. All right, so let's go Tristan. Boy, buck. Now, I caught this guy the last time. I, I, whoa, where are we going, dude? Get excited there. All right. Let's head out here. That was pretty wild. All right. Now, let's see if we can slowly pad. Let's catch a, that's a corn bird or whatever. Up around here. circle on there right now but you do see it right now because I'm gonna edit this all right we're gonna start here we'll see if we can uh... yeah there we are five um, we're gonna sit back and find the depths depth of 19 down a little bit 43 44 huh. all right so there is down right about there. That spot there. There and see what we do. Right. There you go. I don't know if this guy bites in the daytime or not. But we're gonna find out. I'll be back. One one eighty seven. Thirty eight sixty four XP on him. Alright guys, little picture time, you know how that is. I'll be right back. Hey but we'll keep him kitchen accomplished. Alrighty, some ding jang and some bling. Put him out in the mound. Alrighty. Looks good. Now what I did between casting that out, I had a four rod on there. More I sat there and thought about it, I said, nah, I don't want to do that. No, I didn't have a bite or anything. I didn't sit there long at all. I just, it was, it was eating it my craw. So I immediately went over and I, I put a five out on just to feel a little bit better. And um, of course it didn't take much longer. But 144 down, five lot, that done duder. Okay, folks, I hope you got something out of this one. Um, if you did at all, even a chuckle, remember to bump that like button. If you're not a subscriber, think about subscribing. I 
I try to get a couple of videos out a week, and we do two live streams a week, so you always got something going on here. Alright guys, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Never, ever give up the fight. We'll see you later. Yeah,